guys, Matt here from the Weightlifting Lab. Today what I want to show you is a little exercise you can throw in for mobility at the end of your workouts, just to relieve the tension um, from your neck, from your traps, uh, shoulder. A lot of people uh, have been commenting that they get discomfort, they have trouble sleeping, things like that because of neck pain, shoulder pain um, in the traps area. A lot of the time it's your levator scapula. So this one's called Darth Levator. Uh, for all you Star Wars fans out there and it's pretty simple to do um, you've probably seen it uh, maybe on other channels and things like that but uh, it's really simple to do and I find it quite effective for relieving that pain um, so once again your levator scapula it uh, basically originates right up here at the, at the base of the neck and then it's going to connect and go down and connect at the top of the shoulder blade so if it's really tight um, from things like texting, if it's really tight from driving, from working on computers all day, uh, from doing a lot of shrugs at the gym and things like that. Uh, for me, it's, it's with cleans. I find with the, with the shrugging action or the pulling action of cleans, I find it gets really tight. Um, it just really helps to, to loosen that up. And uh, yeah, it helps you sleep better. Can help with your down regulation and things like that if you end it to, or sorry, excuse me, add it to an evening routine before you go to bed. Um, so here's how you do it. Take your band, your monster band. If you've never done this before, you want to find something. Um, if you're at home and you don't have a squat rack like, like I do, uh, what you can do is just add it to something like the, the uh, rails for your garage. Your garage door slides up and down on rails, so you can actually just wrap this around your garage door uh, rails and go from there, okay? But what I'm gonna do is take the band, I'm gonna wrap it around, and I'm just gonna take one end and wrap it through the opposite top end and just pull it nice and tight. From there, you're going to straighten the band and put your hand underneath it, grabbing on top and around, okay? So once again, that's going up from the bottom, through the hole, and then grabbing on top, okay? I want you to turn the band and turn your hand into external rotation before you load. And what I mean by load is before you walk forward with the band, okay? So from here, I'm going to try and keep my elbow nice and tight to the side of my head. I don't want it to reach out and basically get further away from my head. At least not until you're extremely comfortable with the movement. You don't want to be straining that with the rotator cuff muscles at the back, okay? And that's what will happen if you have tension on this band and it pulls away. So keep the elbow relatively close to the head. You're going to walk or lean the band forward. The elbow should come back and you want to pull your shoulder blade down slightly. From here, breathe in, breathe out and get tight. So close your rib cage down and keep a nice tight core, squeeze your butt, lean forward, and then you're just going to pull gently on the neck. And you don't even have to pull gently on the neck. You want to find areas of tension. So right now I find right there, it is just lit up down the levator scap. So I don't even need to pull on my head. But when I do that pulling motion, what I'm doing is I'm gonna breathe in, resist back with my head, and then I'm gonna breathe out. And gently pull into the direction that I feel the tension and the tightness in that muscle. Breathe in and pull back. Breathe out, relax, and let go. Breathe in and pull back. Breathe out. Try and elongate the neck. And gently, gently, gently pull down. And you want to hunt for areas of, of tightness. So if I find looking over this way a little bit is going to increase that, or I'm going to feel it more down that levator scap, then I'm going to look over that way a little bit. There's no cookbook recipe when it comes to this. You want to find those areas that are causing you some grief and work on them. Um, I'm keeping my hand externally rotated the whole time here and trying to keep my belly tight, my bum tight as to not overextend my lower back. Uh, just, just some things you want to know. Uh, gently come out of it and let go of the band. What I'd recommend is doing um, two minutes each side. I typically do three minutes each side. I just find it, it really does a great job at relieving that, that pain, that pressure, that stress. Um, yeah, and just lets me move freely and have a good night's sleep and be ready to work out again tomorrow. Hopefully that helps guys. More to come.
please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or you want to see a particular video made, please enter it in the comments section. I answer all comments. Thanks for supporting the Weightlifting Lab.